actually uh, within this my first hundred days, mm -hmm. I'm really convinced that the Earth, our planet, is in huge crisis. Um, last month, that uh, na Jeff's um, technical uh, scientific advisory committee mm -hmm. issued a report saying that in a two degree world is too much for the health of the Earth ecosystem. Mm -hmm. Two weeks ago, World Bank issued another report saying, if we don't take the bold action, we are going into the four degree world where we even don't know how to adapt um, to those challenges. Mm. So it's very, very clear that uh, we are not on the right track. We are actually on the very wrong and worrisome track. Mm. And Jeff is, is actually the meant to serve for this convention is meant to address those global public uh, goods. Um, so this is really our time to rethink about what kind of challenges we are facing and what kind of roles that uh, we, we, we can um, uh, jointly address. And uh, in my first 100 days, I actually created this vision statement. Um, now, where is the camera? Yep, that's that, that, that we can see that, yeah. <laughs> And in this um, uh, uh, vision statement, I um, appealed to the world that uh, Jeff continue to be a needs to continue to be a champion of global commons mm. because that's the most rare commodity now. Mm -hmm. And I also mentioned that Jeff needs to be a uh, innovator or a supporter of innovation, and that's uh, Jeff's another core mission. So, um, but knowing that the uh, world. Ch um, is facing huge and increasing challenge. It's also important for us to squarely face this uncomfortable fact that Jeff and together with the international community, we need to step up our effort to address and hopefully turn around those worrisome trends. And that is the reason actually that we, that Jeff, mm. are about to launch the Jeff's long-term strategy exercise. We call it Jeff 2020, and throughout this um, visioning exercise, we will ask a range of difficult questions. For instance, how can we catalyze that transformational change to address this world global um, worrisome um, trend? Mm -hmm. And what kind of role that Jeff can play to bring that cat or catalyze those uh, transformational changes? And what is our unique value? And what is the key elements to achieving or producing a global environmental benefit? Then how to achieve the scale? Then JIF is actually the partner institution. We are working with the network agencies. We are working with private sector. So that then what is the best uh, delivery model mm -hmm. to achieve the scale? So these are the questions we will be asking throughout this JIF 2020 vision exercise to serve that purpose. Uh, we are thinking of launching a several um, consultation process with private sector and with uh, the world thinkers and with uh, cities and with island states. So that kind of continuous dialogue uh, will be planned for the throughout next year mm -hmm. to come up with an Jeff's long-term strategy, Jeff 2020. And, and 2020, I guess, is, is all very well, but many people here are saying 2020 is too late. Um, mm -hmm. What are you doing in terms of short-term ambition and really trying to uh, incentivize low-carbon development in the next two to three years? Because the, the scientific reports that are coming out um, say that you know emissions have to peak in by 2015. So can you tell me a bit about what, what the Jeff's plans are in the, in the next uh, year or so? Uh, thank you. Well, uh, I am actually, I know that then, uh, people are still very much concerned about lack of progress where Hoya that's in a COP is producing mm. what kind of results or a global agreement. Mm -hmm. But one thing I um, <coughs> come to notice, maybe with some pleasure, is that, that there is a very strong attention and now focusing on the need for the scaling up. And in order to um, bring the scaling up, the some key elements of the success, I think that the, uh, there are two important issues. The one is the uh, policy issues, there are more attention uh, to the importance of enabling environment and also the finance, importance of finance to scale up the good results. And for to achieve the finance, um, uh, scaling up the through finance, 
there is a lot of discussion ongoing um, besides that the, uh, the negotiation side, particularly how to um, engage more strongly with the private sector. And the Jeff has been uh, working with the, um, in this world for 20 years. We have some success cases to work with the private sector. Uh, for instance, we have some very successful um, energy efficiency projects in Hungary. Uh, it created a uh, huge market transformation for the energy efficiency in Hungary. But the challenge is that it's not really easy to replicate to other countries, even neighboring countries. Mm. We come to understand uh, for, the, for us to have a uh, uh, huge replication efforts, uh, impact, we have to have a policy environment, we have to have a capacity, we have to have a good regulation, and we have to have a market side. So there are many, many elements. It's all different from one technology to another, one country to another. So we have to be also very, very mindful. So just to have an, uh, uh, to uh, achieve the um, a global impact at scale, we need to also pay attention to those local conditions. So there is a huge challenge. I don't have really a quick answer to mm -hmm. you. But then, uh, this uh, notion or attention to the importance of working with the private sector to identify the gaps or risks, how to close that gap for the better results, I'm quite excited to see and participate in those kind of discussion with the private sector. Mm. And you mentioned the private sector. I mean, I guess one of the key roles of the um, Green Climate Fund, if it, if it ever gets off the ground, um, will be to leverage private sector finance. But it, it, it does seem that um, many companies are becoming increasingly disillusioned, both with this process, but also with um, any policies around the world which would give them policy certainty. You know, there is no carbon price all around the world. There is no globally interconnected carbon market, although I suppose we have the EU and ones cropping up in Australia and California and everywhere. Where is this leadership going to come from? Because I suppose the Jeff can provide a bit, but where, where are we going to get this leadership for the private sector? Uh, well, of course, uh, in the ideal world, that uh, if we can put the prices on carbon, it could solve many, many fundamental questions. Mm -hmm. However, maybe, again, coming back to your question, for the next two, three years, which is a very critical time, mm -hmm. we could assume that uh, we have to operate in this current um, political <coughs> setting, which means we have to find out a uh, uh, suboptimal solution and that's why I'm very much interested in how to replicate success models and here and there. So again, that an, uh, the lessons I'm learning from those private sector engagement is it's important for us to identify the policy gaps or institutional gaps and the, um, then uh, capacity gap uh, so that, that then, uh, we can actually then, uh, replicate some success model to another so that then, uh, in this world nothing is really fits to uh, um, to in one all to in one, all fits to in one size mm -hmm. we have to pay attention to those and uh, very different condition from market to market technology to technology in a sense Jeff and some other institution are in a very good um, position to combine this and uh, uh, grant instrument to the risk what to sharing the risk and policy uh, environment uh, we have several uh, instruments to provide uh, to help the government create better policy environment because mm -hmm. we have been working with some other government to institute the feed in tariff or provide that um, technical uh, assistance to agencies so that um, if we can combine those that an uh, instrument to delink what share the risk and some uh, uh, instrument to create the better policy uh, or institutional setting. I think that will be the way to go. And the Green Climate Fund has an opportunity because it has a private sector facility, mm -hmm. it has a public sector facility. So if they can combine these two instruments into the right direction, it can create some synergies. Yeah. And the Jeff is also doing that kind of thing. So I hope our um, experience will be useful for the Green Climate Fund to up and running.